In Iran, beneath its captivating landscapes and rich cultural heritage, lies a tapestry of surprises that will challenge your perceptions. Imagine this. Did you know that Iran is home to one of the oldest civilizations in the world, predating even the ancient Egyptian pyramids? Yes, you heard it right. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. Today, we're delving deep into the heart of Iran to uncover 10 shocking revelations that will leave you utterly speechless. From its hidden gems to its complex societal norms, get ready to embark on a journey like no other. So buckle up and prepare to be amazed as we unravel the enigma that is life in Iran. Number one, it has its own calendar. When looking at a calendar in Iran, you will see three different dates instead of just one or two. Yes, you heard correctly. Three occasions for meeting up. There is the Iranian date, the Muslim date, and the Western date. However, which one should you actually focus on? Allow me to explain it in simpler terms. To begin with, we will discuss the Iranian calendar. It's unlike anything you've ever witnessed before. It's a solar calendar, so it is based on the sun's movements. Therefore, disregard those lunar antics. This is solely focused on Earth's orbit around the sun. Isn't that cool? Have you ever come across a calendar that aligns seamlessly with both the seasons and the zodiac signs? Don't search any longer because Iran has everything you need. With the initial half of the year containing 31 days and the second half having 30, can you predict the date of New Year's Day? On the very beginning of spring, it's as if Mother Nature is personally ushering in the new year. Were you aware that Iran is the sole country globally that solely employs the Iranian solar calendar? It is a unique occurrence that distinguishes Iran from other countries worldwide. Number two, the weekend is on Thursday and Friday. In Iran, the weekend doesn't fall on Saturday and Sunday like in other countries. Instead, it is on Thursday and Friday. Believe me, what I've mentioned is only a fraction of the surprising facts about Iran. Imagine this, as most of the world relaxes on Friday and prepares for the weekend, Iranians are already fully embracing their weekend. How amazing is that? Thursday signals the conclusion of their work week, while Friday is designated as their official day of rest. But hey, don't assume Thursday brings everything to a halt. No way. Banks, government offices, and big stores are still operational, providing ample opportunity to accomplish tasks. If you ever find yourself in a busy Iranian city such as Tehran or Shiraz, you will observe something even more fascinating. Despite the fact that many locations close on Fridays, these cities continue to operate their shopping malls and department stores. Discuss the ease of use. Now, you may be asking yourself, why specifically Thursday and Friday? It is strongly embedded in the culture and tradition of Iran. Friday is a day of communal prayers that is highly revered in the religious practices of Muslims. What about Thursday? It's similar to the peaceful period before the chaos of the weekend, allowing people to finish up their tasks and prepare to relax. During specific national and religious holidays, offices, schools, and shops could also shut down. It's a good idea to always verify your calendar before planning a visit. Number three, the population of Iran is very young. Iran is a country with a deep history, lively culture, and a population that will astonish you. Were you aware that Iran is the 17th most populous country in the world with more than 80 million residents? Yes, that's correct, 80 million. However, the unique factor that truly distinguishes Iran is its young population. The majority of the people in this area are below the age of 30, making up 60% of the population. Indeed, most Iranians are youthful, driven, and brimming with vitality. Currently, you could be pondering, how about the elderly population? Get ready for a shock because you might be surprised as well. Approximately 11% of the Iranian population is over the age of 60, this indicates that Iran is a nation with a vibrant youth who are molding the future. Why is this of such significance? The focus is not solely on numbers. It also involves looking at potential. Iran's vibrant workforce, creative thinkers, and thirst for advancement stem from its youthful population. The young generation of Iran is leading change and leaving a significant impact on the global stage, from tech startups to creative sectors. Number four. Persian cats originated in Iran. Persian cats are not ordinary pet cats. They are frequently referred to as the felines of nobility and with good cause. In the past, the kings of Persia held them in high regard and even the European nobility couldn't resist their charm. However, 
What is really fascinating is the connection between these majestic animals and Iran. According to legend, their forefathers were initially brought from a place in Iran known as Khorasan to Italy. Nevertheless, concrete proof continues to be difficult to find despite this story. Now, let's discuss the special qualities that set Persian cats apart. In addition to their undeniable attractiveness, they are also recognized for their sweet and gentle nature, making them perfect partners for both families and individuals. And we mustn't overlook the smooth fur that just begs to be touched. Caring for a Persian cat involves more than just pride. It requires dedication and affection. It is necessary to groom them regularly in order to maintain their best appearance due to their long flowing coats. However, believe me, the connection you will establish with your Persian pet turns each grooming session into a happy event. Whether you're an experienced fan of cats or a person interested in adding a regal touch to your life, think about bringing a Persian cat into your household. You will not only acquire a faithful friend, but also honor a part of Iran's diverse cultural legacy. Number five, Iran owns 10% of the oil reserves of the world. Were you aware that Iran ranks third globally in terms of oil reserves? Yes, you heard that right. Following Venezuela and Saudi Arabia, Iran secures the third place in the competition for the most oil reserves. Just last year, Iran had an impressive 156 billion barrels of oil reserves. Just picture that. In context, it's similar to having nearly 10% of the global oil reserves located right in Iran's vicinity. Now, let's dive into more details. Iran is not simply holding onto its oil reserves without taking any action. Oh no, they have some significant oil fields extracting the liquid gold. The mentioned locations include Avaz Field, Maroon Field, Agajari Field, and Gatsaran Field. For instance, consider the Avaz Field. This creature produces an astonishing 945,000 barrels of oil daily. Yes, that's correct. Almost 1 million barrels daily. And we shouldn't overlook the Marin field, which is also impressive. It is producing 500,000 barrels daily. That amounts to 500,000 barrels every one. Therefore, what is the significance of all this? In the beginning, oil is compared to the vital fluid that keeps modern society going. It fuels our vehicles, warms our houses, and propels our economies. Given Iran's substantial control over a large portion of the world's oil supply, it is fair to assert that they are exerting a significant influence on the global platform. But let's also remember the opposite perspective. Although oil can bring riches and influence, it also carries numerous difficulties, such as environmental issues and geopolitical conflicts. It's a two-sided weapon, everyone. Number six birthplace of one of the world's oldest civilizations. What thoughts come to your head when you think about Iran? Maybe it's the incredible buildings, the fragrant seasonings, or the diverse cultural mix. However, were you aware that hidden in this territory is the origin of one of the most ancient civilizations on Earth? We are discussing the Elamite kingdoms, originating in the fourth millennium BCE. These early civilizations were some of the first to establish the basics of society building impressive cities, and creating a heritage that continues to puzzle archaeologists in the present day. Fast forward a couple of thousand years, and Iran is positioned in the center of empires that have influenced the direction of history, from the powerful Achaemenid Empire, which spanned from Egypt to India, to the Parthian Empire, whose soldiers took on Rome, and the Sasanian Empire, known for its lasting influence on art and culture. As soon as you believe you have discovered all of Iran's mysteries, the Arab Muslims arrived in the 7th century CE, beginning a new period of governance that would last for many years. Are you able to comprehend this? Throughout history, Iran has been a center of civilization, from the Elamites to the Achaemenids, the Parthians to the Sassanians, and beyond, influencing the world we live in today. Number seven, Persian carpets are world famous. The history of Persian rugs traces back to the Bronze Age, people. Picture this, in the past, craftsmen were carefully creating these works of art that we now look up to. However, what is even more intriguing is how this skill has lasted through the years, transforming into the internationally recognized sector it is now. Nowadays, if you look around, you'll see Persian carpets making appearances in royal palaces and the houses of the wealthy worldwide. Their complex patterns and unmatched excellence 
make them a representation of opulence and elegance. What distinguishes Persian carpets from others? So, it's all about the skill and expertise, my pals. These stunning pieces are completely crafted by hand, with every knot intricately woven by talented craftsmen with precision and attention. And I have to say, it's not only about appearance. Persian carpets are renowned for their ability to withstand wear and last a long time. They are more than just carpets. They are assets that can be handed down for generations. Are you aware that Iran holds the title of being the biggest manufacturer and seller of handmade carpets globally? Yes, exactly. Iran remains a dominant force in the global market, holding a significant 30% share and establishing a benchmark for excellence in quality and craftsmanship. It's not only about commerce, it's also about safeguarding a cultural legacy. Numerous carpet weaving methods have been handed down through generations, preserving ancient traditions. Number eight, alcohol is banned in Iran. Imagine this scenario, you're dining in Iran, looking over the menu and realize that there are no alcoholic drinks available. This is due to Iran's strict prohibition on the sale and consumption of alcohol, which sets it apart from many other nations. It simply isn't a cultural norm in this place. Do not worry, my companions, as Iran has its special method of savoring drinks, which are equally enjoyable. You may be curious as to what beverages Iranians consume in place of that. Allow me to inform you, there is something unique they offer called Sharbats. Sharbats are classic Persian beverages that are full of flavors and provide a refreshing taste. These beverages have been relished for ages and they offer a diverse range of tempting flavors. Now, you may be wondering, what are the ingredients used in making these sharbats? Allow me to provide you with a sample of the variety. Picture yourself enjoying tokam e rehan, a cool basil seed beverage, or treating yourself to the rich tastes of khaki shir, derived from particular seeds. If you enjoy citrus flavors, you might find bahar narenj, a refreshing orange blossom beverage, to be your new go-to drink. Don't overlook sekanjabin, a sweet and tangy beverage ideal for refreshing yourself on a warm day. While dining, you may encounter an interesting option on the menu, non-alcoholic beer. Yes, indeed, despite the prohibition of alcohol, certain dining establishments provide non-alcoholic beer as a substitute option. And can you believe it? The taste is remarkably close to the authentic version. Who needs alcohol when there are so many delicious sharbats and non-alcoholic options available to choose from? Number nine, more women attend universities in Iran than men. In Iran, women are at the forefront of higher education. Data indicates that the majority of university students in Iran, approximately 60%, are female, whereas males only make up about 40%. Isn't that quite remarkable? Just a moment, please wait. As women increasingly enter academia, it is exciting to witness, but upon closer examination, a surprising twist emerges. When it comes to master's and PhD programs, there is a slight decrease in the numbers. Yes, it appears that unfortunately, fewer women are pursuing higher levels of education. However, what is the reason for that? Several factors are influencing the situation. It might involve societal expectations, cultural standards, or individual decisions. Now, this is where things start to really catch my attention. With the increase in the number of women earning degrees, you would expect them to be entering the workforce in large numbers, correct? Not exactly. Following graduation, few women in Iran opt to actively pursue a profession. It's a little puzzling, isn't it? However, there is additional information available. After getting married and having children, the percentage of women in the workforce decreases even more. I understand your thoughts right now. What is the significance of this? Well, it's not just about numbers. It pertains to fairness, possibility, and the capacity for all individuals to pursue their aspirations, irrespective of gender. Number 10, popular social media platforms are blocked in Iran. If you are visiting or residing in Iran, you may encounter difficulty browsing your newsfeed or enjoying cat videos, do not be afraid. There are methods to maneuver through this digital obstacle. An alternative is to utilize a VPN, an abbreviation for virtual private network. It's similar to having a hidden passageway that circumvents limitations, enabling you to reach restricted websites. There are numerous VPN services available. Therefore, it is important to conduct research and choose one that meets your needs. Now, this is where things start to get intriguing. While certain big social media companies are excluded, others find a way to avoid being blocked. 
You can still use Instagram and WhatsApp in Iran to keep in touch with your loved ones. And here's a helpful suggestion for those of you who are traveling. If you're thinking about spending some time in Iran, it might be a good idea to purchase an Iranian SIM card. Utilizing a local SIM card can help you cut costs significantly on charges for international roaming. Additionally, you will be able to utilize local networks and services to further enhance your stay. There you go, everyone. Although navigating social media in Iran can be challenging, it is still possible to find ways to remain connected. Whether you choose to use a VPN, only use Instagram and WhatsApp, or get a local SIM card, you can still keep receiving likes and shares. Thank you for watching. Remember to click the subscribe button for more exciting updates. Until we meet again, enjoy scrolling.